Mother Kali is Sakti or the dynamic half of Brahman. She is beyond all barriers, divisions, and constraints. She represents the pure power of existence, which as the infinite and eternal, permeates all space and time and yet dwells beyond it. Mother Kali's terrible appearance signifies her transcendent nature, that breaks down all the transient enjoyments that we are attached to. Her garland of skulls shows her ruling over suffering, and death and her ability to take us beyond them. The head chopper that she carries as a weapon is adorned with an eye, indicating that it is the power of spiritual insight to cut through all negativity and duality. Mother Kali represents the calming and silencing of the mind, that is the essence of the tantric paratan in Asakti Yoga. She symbolizes the highest state of Niroda or emergence in the Yoga Sutras, Nirvana or dissolution in Buddhism, and Brahma Nirvana or dissolution in Brahman of the Bhagavad Gita. She indicates the prana or life force merged into itself, the ending of death in the ending of birth. Mother Kali is the very breath of Brahman that occurs without breathing, sustaining everything silently within itself. She is not simply the force of nature or prakriti, and her three gunas but the pervasive power of the supreme beyond all change and fluctuation. Mother Kali and Lord Shiva take us beyond sattva guna or pure and virtuous conduct to pure existence or sat beyond all actions. Mother Kali and Lord Shiva can take us back to Brahman in which they merge together. The online school of Hindu Tantra will introduce you to devatas, gods and goddesses, who are to be perceived as forms of Brahman. Each devata or deity is a doorway to the infinite which is Brahman. Each indicates a path beyond form and personality, through reflecting a primal or archetypal form, power, or personality. Our Sadguru Sri Parameswaran offers you the opportunity to study online with him. Namaste.